Chapter 3. The PDCA Cycle. Subchapter 3.3. From the Cycle to the Standard. We said that the 45001 standard, just like all the other modern management standards, is heavily linked with the PDCA cycle. In this subchapter, we'll see how this is true, even at a higher level. Except for the first three clauses, which are just an introduction, all the ten clauses of the standard can be linked to one step of the PDCA cycle. For the plan step, there's an entire clause related to it. Clause 6. For the due step, Clause 7, Support, and Clause 8, Operations. For the check step, Clause 9, Performance Evaluation. For the act step, Clause 10, Improvement. Chapter 4, Context could be seen as something that embraces the whole cycle. That's why we could put it on top. And finally, Clause 5, Leadership and Commitment, could be seen as something central, so we put it at the center of our cycle. With this slide, we completed the third chapter of this course. Now that you got more familiar with the concept of PDCA, Little by little, you will start to think according to the PDCA cycle, and you're likely to find it quite useful. As you may see here, this chapter ends the plateau made of chapters 2 and 3. Since this plateau has primarily dealt with the very basics of the standard, we would call it the Basics Plateau. Now we are ready to make a step in another plateau, made of chapter 4, 5, and 6. How will we call that plateau? You will see soon. As always, for any questions, please email us at occam at occam-consult.com. As soon as you finish the following test, see you on Chapter 4, Terms and Definitions.